Hello everybody, I'm Alison, this is So Like Dotty, and today is the Festive Frocks Reveal. So it is also Vlogmas Day 22, but I'll kind of do my Vlogmas in a wrap-up um, tomorrow, I guess. So you may remember a little while ago that Tamlin shared that she was going to make the Sew Over It Porsche dress, which is this one just here. And I was watching her vlog and um, she shared a lovely fabric and I'd ordered the pattern and I'd ordered the fabric and I said I think we should do a collaboration so the plan was born if you've not watched our sort of build up to this uh, vlog uh, well why not so obviously we know each other because Tamlin runs Sotoon so we're friends so it was lush and we wanted to get some pictures together so we had planned to both wear our dresses at the Sotoon Christmas evening night out um, last Thursday but sadly Tamlin hadn't got a chance to make her dress so um, we were going out after the Wednesday afternoon so to and yesterday um, um, but I was making another top for that so I didn't want to wear it there so long story short we got some pictures taken together at Sotoon. So Tamlin's is a very different fabric to mine so please go over and check out her vlog if you haven't already. We've both shared them at the same time tonight and um, she's done the shorter version of it so let me find the line drawings and as you'll see from the pictures I've done a much longer length so I haven't even done the longer version of the dress. I've added about I think it's about eight inches onto the bottom of it. So you've got version one and version two um, version one is, well, I think you can do either of them in any length you want. The cut lines are on there. You can colour block this version here if you want to and do the back in two pieces or you can just do the back in one piece and obviously do it all in one colour. The actual construction of the dress um, is probably easier than it looks. But we'll start with the, the fabric and the cutting out, etc. Because I think what Tamlin said on her original vlog was that she'd... Um, she, she'd got the fabric from first for fabrics where she works so she'd laid the pattern pieces out on the fabric and just cut what she needed and cut considerably less than the pattern suggested now hers is you'll see in the pictures quite a bit shorter than mine and um, so I'd got three meters of this because this is the dress this um velvet stretch velvet from pound fabrics I think it's 495 or 595 a meter they've still got loads and loads of colors in it um and it is 150 wide, but obviously you only need a certain amount of width for the dress. But I got three metres and I've got, I would say, maybe about three quarters of a metre left. I've got a good chunk left and some side pieces, but obviously the stretch on that isn't the right way around to use for things. So I did lengthen the sleeves on mine just slightly. So the finished standard sleeve would come to about here, which Tamlin has done. You'll see that on her pictures, but I wanted a little bit longer. You could go longer again, but I don't mind having my wrists and things on show with a bracelet and things. I think that's quite nice. Um, it is quite plunge, I've got to say. So I'll, I'll stand up. So I've got a little stitch, which I probably didn't do that well before the Thursday night out here. I put a brooch in at first because the actual, where the knot is there is where it finishes. Now, without having you staring at my chest anymore, I've got quite a low bust. I don't mean saggy, I just mean low. Um, and... It kind of comes right down to that so I suppose if you go on you know for an evening do or something like that it would be it would be lovely in a full length dress um but if you're kind of sitting around the table having your Christmas dinner you might not want it to be that low with your family so I just put like a little modesty stitch and you could put a popper in or something or just a little brooch on there would be lovely so let me find the pattern pieces so I cut it out in a straight size 16 um the seam allowance is 1.5 centimeters so what i actually did was i overlocked all the pieces around first and then if i once i tried it on i knew if i needed to sort of unpick and grade out around the tummy area that i could i know it's stretch velvet so it is a little bit more forgiving um but equally that also makes it feel a little bit clingy um so but yeah Kirsten, I'll drop that picture in, who made hers for the Sawtown Evening Night out in a floral. I think that was more of a, a stretch. 
I'm not sure, but like maybe a, a, like a, vis, a viscose cotton or something like like that. So um, again, a totally different sort of fabric. I'm just going to look for the pattern layout because this sort of shows you just like how random the bits and pieces look. So there's not many pattern pieces to cut out at all. You cut out obviously two sleeves. If you're doing it all in one go, you cut the back on the fold and then you cut two pieces for the front. So if you can see on the line drawn, this funny looking piece here is the front. And at this point here where it comes in, this is where you create your knot. So there's actually sort of, it looks like a very small dart, but it's actually where you cut into with the notches. So basically what you do is, you sew up this, I think it's this one, or that one, I can't remember. You sew, basically you sew up the front seam, and then you cross one piece over and behind the other one, and that is your knot effectively done. But then, I'll show you on here, then what you've got, sorry, it's rolled up. What you've got is this line, which I usually have to lengthen my bodice. It does give you details of how to check your measurements and things in the pattern but you sort of stitch and I hadn't gone far enough into here so I had a little sort of gap so I just hand stitched that later and um, it's got a facing that's not really a facing so on this front piece this is just part of it um, and that just folds under and presses under here and it does actually stay in place quite well and then that's just joined onto the back you do um, put a binding on the the back neck and um, but it does give you good instructions to do that and what I would say is effectively once you've done the twist and you've got your front piece made which is much easier than you think but if you can't work it out you can you can buy it on um so over at London stitch school for three pound fifty but it's really easy to do and um, once you've got that done effectively it's like making a jumper dress or a t-shirt dress the process is really pretty much the, the same and um, and there was nothing complex about it at at all. Um, it says it's for a confident beginner. And I would say as much as anything, that might be around the sort of fabric that you would use. So my overlocker was obviously great at handling this. Um, and probably if I was making it again, I would just have overlocked those seams and then stitched them as well. But my actual sewing machine, my faff machine, has got the built-in IDT, where on my old necking machine, I would have used a walking foot. I do think when you're sewing with velvet, um, even cord, anything like that, if you haven't got built-in sort of IDT or the equivalent, you 100% need a walking foot. I've tried without it. It wasn't, not with this dress, but it was hard going and a real nightmare to do. It moves so much. So those things, if you've struggled with that, those things are an investment that would make your life an awful lot easier. And a walking foot you can get for any mach any machine. Um, so yeah, it was a really easy make. Um, obviously cutting out it just depends on the fabric although this is you know stretchy and slippy it didn't it was quite easy to cut out it wasn't moving around too much and um, obviously lots of pins and clips to keep it all in place as you're doing it and um yeah i found it quite easy to make i think i got it made in well less than two hours and a bit of that was me doing a bit of head scratching about which way around the knot goes and kind of making sure that I'd got I'd got that right um because I didn't want to twirl it with a different fabric when I wanted to do it in this in this one um and I was chatting to Alma from so over at London um about the pattern before I started it because I was saying I do think this would look beautiful as an evening dress like full length and she was saying oh yeah with a split and obviously you've got that front center seam so it would be very easy to put a, um a split in in there um and I, I dare you know it wouldn't be too difficult to even line it to get that sort of you know finish quite elegantly on the bottom of it as well and um, you could even sort of curve the ends of that up if you wanted to you know there's all sorts that you could do around that center seam it, it lends itself nicely I didn't need that you'll see from the pictures mine's quite long but because it's got the stretch I've got no problem walking in it at all I based the length of it on the length of the jumper dresses that I've made recently so I just used the pattern pieces for that to gauge the length that I wanted it cut and I'm absolutely over the moon with it and um, what else? I didn't really make any alterations to the fit of the pattern apart from that. Um, I didn't follow the directions they gave for how much elastic you needed from the cuff. I just turned it over, made a channel, put the elastic through and I usually just put a clip on where I'm comfortable with it. Um, and I think that's 
yeah, it's ideal. It's not sort of riding up on my sleeves all the time or, or anything. Um, would I make it again? Yes. And I do think I was saying to Alma, I think it would look beautiful if you made it in, obviously, some sort of stretch fabric on your bodice. But even putting some sort of embroidered tulle um, net sleeves into it, I think would look stunning absolutely stunning so this although i am a sew over it pattern insider i did buy this pattern before that happened and um, so i was making it anyway i'm not under any obligation or anything to share the pattern these are totally my my thoughts and um yeah so i've kind of worn it twice already um it may be my christmas day dress i'm not entirely sure yet um whether it will be i don't know there's no reason why not it just kind of depends how i feel and what i want to wear on the on the day um obviously you can see on the first picture that I had my hair curled when I had it and I thought it looked really nice like that and then yesterday my hair was re um, straight when I wore it, it looked nice with jewellery could put a nice necklace or anything with it just really nice and you could probably crop it and make it into a top I think that would be really nice um but yeah give it a go if you're thinking about it I think some of you might have I don't know if this was one of the ones that was in the Black Friday sale and um, but it's, all the patterns are very very reasonably priced um, and the size is a size 6 to 30 so there's a very very extensive size range in it as as well and then obviously depending on the stretch of the fabric as to how sort of forgiven that it that it is um, it wouldn't have been something that I would have worn before at all um, but now I've lost some weight I feel a bit more comfortable and that's not a judgment on anybody because anybody of any size and shape could wear it this is about the lumps and bumps I've got on my lower abdomen and um, I don't want to wear sort of suck it all in underwear anymore um, so I just had my snag tights on under it and I felt really comfortable um, but if you were nervous about that you could always grade out um, from the hips a little to just give you a little bit more room with that and that might make you feel a bit more comfortable with that aspect as, as well you'd still have the fitted element of the top and the bust line and sort of take the skirt out a bit further I guess you could make it ear line if you wanted to you know um, so yeah if you've made one let me know let me know what fabric you used obviously if you want to check out a variety like a variety of patterns and fabrics and sizes and fit just use hashtag sori so so over at london and um, porsche or it might be porsche dress um i'm just looking to see if on instagram just to see if that tags there so it'll either be soi porsche or soi porsche dress um and yeah let me know and if you've not made this let me know what your christmas festive frock is going to be pop it in the comments because i'd love to know and um, so thank you so much for watching i know that you've been very patient about the reveal i'll have dropped lots of pictures in by now and um, and yeah i hope well i hope you like what you're seeing both of us and i hope you like whatever you are, are wearing for christmas this year too so thanks for watching bye everyone